Hello again, my planner friends. It's so good to talk to you. Um, Julie Deal Mooney here. I am going to do a plan with me for week three of January of 2020 in my Philofax A5 with Coco Daisy noted inserts. So let's get started. So here are my stickers, here are my pens. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, take my bookmark out, I make a bookmark every week. This is week three. It's got polka dots. I just printed this on transparency paper and then laminated it and cut it out and punched it. So um, I have one of these for each week and they're color coordinated to match the spread that I picked out of the Daisy Dory um, booklet. I cut the booklet in half right down the middle. And so um, this is the spread that I picked for the middle of the week. And wow, it's got a lot of color. So that's kind of fun. I kind of tend toward pale, pastel, sort of subtle sort of thing. So um, you can see I already have my dashboard for the week set up. And so let's get started with my weekly spread. All right, so I do put a piece of paper down, a piece of cardstock, so that I have something to cushion for when I am using my pen to write my lines with. So I am taking my pencil here and I'm measuring off three quarters of an inch for the gutter. And then I am taking my ruler and if you haven't seen this before, I do measure it at a diagonal. It's a simple way to divide things into odd numbers. So, um, so for this, I just put the ruler diagonally till it goes a zero on one side and six on the other, and then I can divide it into three columns easily. So I just make my marks at two and four to divide the columns. Um, and it makes three columns, not of two inches wide because the ruler is at a diagonal, but it does make them equally uh, the same width. So uh, I, this is just a simple way that I do it. And so then now that I've measured it all out with pencil and made my marks, I'm going to go back in and draw the lines so that I have my vertical columns. And there's something on my pen, there's a little black goo, so I had to get that off and I will continue on drawing lines here. And so uh, how about you? Do you like your layouts horizontal, vertical, or a dashboard style. There are several different ways you can do it. Um, I do have mine horizontal sometimes. I have to admit, when mine's horizontal, it's usually because I'm a little tight on time and I don't have time. I just want to get my layout done quickly because I need it either for the next week or um, I'm trying to get it done ahead of time. And so, so yeah, so I had to be careful about going around that little spot where the um, artwork was and so I'm just going to incorporate that into my layout for whatever is going on on that Saturday. I don't have anything to do that Saturday. I, I am so gloriously excited that there is nothing planned for that Saturday. So, um, so I did decide to use the highlighters with the days of the week as my days of the week sticker, but they are a little long um, and they don't quite fit horizontally in the space, so I am putting them in at an angle, as you can see. Um, and that worked really well. Uh, it, you know, it was a quick fix for when I started to put them down and I realized they didn't fit. I was a little upset at first, but, you know, it works out. And, and I think they look cute at an angle. And I was able to put stickers around them for the most part, so... So that worked out. So I put these down for the week. Um, if you notice that last one, the Saturday one, is at a little bit different angle than the rest of them. I didn't notice that until I was watching the video, but that's okay because, you know, there'll be a lot going on. You won't notice it. But then I went to put the Sunday one in, and it's really not the same angle. So I have to go back and fix that. So that does take a moment to have to get out the little palette knife and pull the sticker up. And so usually if a sticker's only been stuck down for a minute, you can pull it back up. But if you have to go any longer than that, um, it depends on the sticker paper. Some sticker paper is more forgiving than others. But if you let it sit there for a day, you're going to have to really be careful 
Um, if you pull it up, you're probably going to peel paper up. And I've done it before. It happens. Um, you know, we're not making a piece of artwork here that's going to last for the generations. It's my planner. So I've gone on now to put the header at the top of the page. So this is for the week of January the 13th through the 19th. And in real life, this is much more visible on the page than it is here. Um, looking at it on the video, it's it's almost indiscernible from the background, but you can see it in real life. Um, so I do make my own stickers. Um, so I made the header stickers and I also made the number stickers that I am sticking in here. Um, the little tiny round ones next to the day of the week that has the date. Uh, and so um, I use a silhouette to make my stickers with and I do uh, days of the week, date for each day and I also do words of things that I have going on that week that already you know that are pre-planned and I know they're going on and I also do some icons for things that um, Coco Daisy has this great sheet of icons and I have adapted my icons just to coordinate with hers and so um, there are certain things that I either needed more of like trash cans because we have trash twice a week um, or uh, didn't have. So like movies, we go to the movies a lot. Um, so, so now I'm putting down the stickers for uh, my staffing for each week. Uh, I manage a small staff and it is just very helpful for me to have um, who's working when at all times so that I can see it in my planner at a glance. I have a spreadsheet, but then I have to go get the spreadsheet out and I have to figure out, you know, who's working when. And so this is just an easy way for me to keep up with that. Here, I have put this last sticker down for the week for my staffing. And it kind of overlaps the artwork for that little binder clip. And so I just cut the little corner out of that because it just looks so much better to me if it wasn't covering the edge of the artwork. And that was just an easy fix for that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I have some stickers for one is for my great aunt Mert's 90th birthday. So that is on Monday. And then I also have um, some an event on Tuesday that is for um, we're having desserts at the senior center. So I'll be doing that on Tuesday. So those are the next couple of things that I put down here. Okay, so I have some issues uh, getting that sticker straight. So I am going to futz with it just a little bit and get it straight. And so um, I do jump around while I'm um, setting up my pages. I, I I try to be methodical about it, but really I kind of, I get a little distracted by one thing and I go one place and then I go another place. So at this point, I'm going to go back and look through my stickers after I get that one sticker all straightened up and get everything on it. And then I'm going to look through my stickers and find either, um, I use either clipboards or checklists to go in the middle section. And so I'm kind of equal opportunity depending on the color of the uh, clipboards that are in the sticker sets and the checklist that I have and what I need them for for the other weeks. And so I just kind of go through and look at what my options are. And if I do clipboards, then I try to do either two or three and then do them every other day. So I either do them on Tuesday, Thursday, or like this week, I will do them on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then on the other two days or the other three days, depending on how I do it, um, I will use a checklist. I don't usually do a block of clipboards. Um, now I will do a whole week mm -hmm. of checklist if there's not a clipboard that matches that week color-wise, there's only one. I tend to not use one clipboard, and then the rest, um, I don't know. It's just like 
you know how you get these weird things with how you set up your planner. This is just kind of how I do mine. If I don't have enough to to do every other day with a clipboard, I don't use the clipboards. So um, I did look back through the sticker kits and found a couple of the headers that are, uh, they look like they're watercolor. So I used those for a little bit different look with the checklists. And so um, once I get my checklist all down, then I start adding more events and that type of stuff in. And sometimes depending on the stickers that I have down on a certain day, I will put an event on my actual checklist rather than putting a sticker down and putting the words on top of it just because space-wise, if I don't have room to put it down um, or if it's such a small event kind of thing, but I just need to know that it's happening, um, then I will put it on my to-do list. So that's what I'm doing right now. We have a shredding event at the Senior Center. It's taking place in the parking lot and the library is sponsoring it, so I don't have to be out there, but it is happening out in my parking lot. It's good for my people to know it. It's good for me to be aware that it's happening. So I just put it on my to-do list so that it reminds me when I look at that day in my planner. Okay, so I am now going to look through the Coco Daisy stickers for the um, trash can icons, and I just love these uh, new icons that they have with the Coco Daisy kits, and so I am finding the trash cans so that I can put them on my planner to remind us at work when trash and recycle days are, because we uh, sometimes forget we're better about it now than we used to be. Uh, we've been doing it for a year now. Um, and sometimes my work feels like like a home away from home because you have to take the trash out. The dishes have to be done. There are just certain things. The laundry has to be done. And it's not a lot of housework, but it is enough housework that my job feels like, you know, it's like a home away from home. So, um, yeah, so we do need to remind ourselves to take out the trash and then I put a little sticker in for payday each week. It's not that I forget that I get paid every Friday, but I just like to put the payday sticker in. Once again, those um, stickers, the icon stickers from Coco Daisy are just so cute. Okay, so the next spot that I'm going to, I am trying to balance out the colors um, of the stickers. So I have a blue one and a yellow one, so I just wanna make sure that what I put in between them is a good color and I'm just making sure I'm rearranging everything so that it fits nicely but right about this point I realize that the uh, trash and recycle need to go on Thursday because while trash and recycle is actually picked up on Friday the uh, time that we need to put the cans out at the street is Thursday afternoon because we don't want to have to go out there in the middle of the day Friday while we're in the middle of doing stuff at work. So in order to move trash and recycle to Thursday, that means my chain sheets sticker needs to be moved down. So I move that one down and put the trash and recycle where it needs to go. And so once I have that done, then I am looking through my stickers. And so my word stickers are always a good indication of anything that still needs to go on the sheet. And so some things just go to my checklist. And so uh, on Thursdays, we have to turn in a timesheet for work. And then um, on a rotating basis, I just need to go over my finances and look at all the um, look at all the deposits, look at everything that we have. So I have to do that every once in a while. So I'll do that on Monday of this week. And then, um, and then I put down a sticker for uh, Friday is cleaning day, and once again I just love the new icons from Coco Daisy. Like I just can't say that enough. The cleaning icon is just so cute, and so I am still balancing colors here, and just trying to make sure that all of my stickers look nice together. And so then my next spot is birthdays. This is birthday week. I have already put one birthday sticker down. And then I have three more birthday stickers for 
uh, the end of this week. So, so it's just birthday stickers here, there, and everywhere. So I have one birthday for a girlfriend of mine, and then I have one for my second cousin, who's more like a nephew, um, and then one for another guy. So I'm just trying to find uh, stickers that look good in my planner and are also gender appropriate for the people that I'm putting them down for. And, um, and then uh, after I find the stickers, uh, then I also have tiny cake icons for birthdays just to uh, give that a little more oomph so it's got a little icon. And I did go back and redraw my icons to kind of match the ones from Coco Daisy so that it would be more of a cohesive look. They kind of have the same look to them. Um, and so that really just makes me happy when I look at my planner and I have all these little icons. I think little icons are one of the things that if I had to say one of my trademark things, little icons is one of my trademark things because I really like having them in my planner. And I am not a no white space planner, but I am a, um, I put a lot of stuff down. And so um, I do like to have my planner full. And so after the fact, if there are gaps and stuff, I just go in and add pretty decorative items. So I've just about got my birthday stickers down um, and uh, getting the cakes in there so that they're all, they all look good and they're all set up. And so I also, uh, I just, just like a day ago, made an appointment for the vet, for the dog. And so I don't have a sticker for that. Um, I do have a, you know, a little rectangular sticker and I have a paw print, but I didn't think to put it on during this plan with me. So I just put a sticky note down for that so that I will remember to write it in my planner after I do a before the pen. I am trying to be good about um, getting a before the pen each week. And so um, I do have one more sticker for a bill due. And then after I get that and the sticky note, then my plan with me will be done. So if you have enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you coming and watching it and sticking with it all the way to the end. So if you have not already subscribed, I would ask you if you enjoyed the video to subscribe to my channel and look for me on Instagram. I am Julie Deal Mooney and I hope to see you soon. I hope you have a great day and that all of your planners are beautiful and that all of your stickers don't have to be peeled back up. All right, have a great day everyone and I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.